Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. On this video I'm going to talk about altitudes. What is an altitude? It's a line segment that connects the vertex of a triangle to the opposite side that is perpendicular to the opposite side. This is a long definition for something that's pretty simple. I need to find a vertex of the triangle, you have vertex B, and I'm going to draw a line segment to the opposite side. And as long as that line segment hits the opposite side at 90 degrees, it's called an altitude. And so again, the line segment that connects the vertex of a triangle to the opposite side, that's what I have here, and it's intersecting the opposite side at 90 degrees. And so that's what perpendicular means, two lines that intersect at 90 degrees. And that's the gist of an altitude. It's really important that you understand that an altitude makes a 90 degree angle. And so uh, if we have three vertices and we've got three sides, uh, then we're going to have three altitudes. Uh, now this is going to be uh, mainly for acute triangles. Uh, and so every triangle has three altitudes, um, but for acute triangles, it's always going to intersect on the inside of the triangle. And so keep in mind, I'm mainly talking about acute triangles here. And so if I look, we have the, the altitude from the previous slide. Now I'm going to call the, uh, the point opposite of B, that makes, uh, where, where the line makes a 90 degree angle, I'm going to call this point D. So we've got an altitude of segment BD. Uh, we also have a vertex A, and if I go to the opposite side from vertex A, uh, the point where the line intersects at 90 degrees, I'm going to call point F. And so we have uh, another uh, segment AF as, an, as a median. And then also we have a vertex C. And if I draw a line segment to the opposite side and that line uh, segment hits at 90 degrees, I'm going to call this point E. We have another uh, altitude called segment CE. And so all three of these uh, segments are, are altitudes. Sorry, I almost put the wrong word down. These are all altitudes. And again, since we have three vertices and we've got three sides in a triangle, then you're going to have three altitudes. Uh, now, there's a, something important you need to remember. Again, all these line segments hit the opposite sides at 90 degrees. I just want to emphasize that because I'm about to do a couple example problems, and you need to understand that this angle measure is 90 degrees wherever the, the line segment hits the opposite side. Uh, now, there's something very special here as well. Notice how all these altitudes are intersecting at the same location. This is called an orthocenter. So orthocenter, where all the altitudes intersect, it's called an orthocenter. Uh, and so you're always going to see uh, the orthocenters intersecting at the same location. Uh, and so I'm going to have a separate video on orthocenter if you want to watch that. But as of right now, I'm going to do a couple example problems. So let's look at the first one. It says, if uh, find x if segment BD is an altitude of triangle ABC. So we know this guy right here is an altitude. Uh, and we need to find x. x is, it's inside this little equation right here, 5x minus 10. Uh, what do we know about this angle? We know that this angle is also equal to 90 degrees. So this angle is equal to 5x minus 10. It's also equal to 90 degrees. So how in the world can I solve for x? Well, that's simple. We just set the two equations equal to each other, or the two values equal to each other. So we have 90 equals 5x minus 10. If I can get x by itself by adding 10, and I get 100 equals 5x, and then I need to divide by 5. And I get 20 is equal to x. And so right now, we have 20 is equal to x. And I'm a big fan of double checking my work. And so what happens if I were to plug a, a 20 in here? Uh, 5 times 20 is 100. Uh, and so we have 100 minus 10. And that gets us down to 90. And again, these are supposed to equal 90 degrees because that's what an altitude ends up having, uh, a 90 degree angle. And so we're good here. So we know x is 20. Well, let me make this a little bit more challenging. Uh, we have a problem where um, we need to uh, find x and also the length of segment RS. Uh, if t was an altitude of triangle RST. So again, we know this guy here is an altitude. And so hmm, we need to find x. Uh, we're going to use the same trick we did in the previous slide, uh, but we also need to find the length all the way from R to S. And we don't have that information here. We've got X in here, and so that's a problem. We don't have a relationship between these two segments, so we need to find X before we can actually find the length of RS. Uh, but I want you to understand the segment RS is equal to uh, RU, segment RU, plus the length of segment US. And so I want you to keep in mind, if I were to add segment RU and add it to each segment US, then we can find the entire length of RS. So I'm, I'm going to use this information in a moment. Let's find X first. We know this angle is equal to 90 degrees. 
we also know it's equal to 7x plus 6. So I'm going to, again, set these equal to each other. 90 equals uh, 7x plus 6. I'm going to start solving for x by subtracting 6 from both sides. And I get 84 equals 7x. Uh, divide both sides by 7. Uh, I know 84 divided by 7 is 12. And so I know x is 12 right now. And so we found x. We're good there. Now we need to find rs. Well, we know that rs is composed of these two segments. I'm going to plug in 12 for x before I start solving for rs. So 6 times 12 is, that is a 72. 72 plus 9, that ends up being 81 degrees. And so we know that ru is 81. Sorry, there's no degrees here. This is like inches, centimeters, feet, something like that. Sorry. So this is a, this is a side length, so this is not degrees. So we know it's 81 inches, feet, whatever. Uh, now let's do the same thing here. We have uh, 2 times x, which is 2 times 12, and that is equal to 24. So we know that us is 24. And if I were to combine these two, we know that 81 plus 24 is 105. And so we know that segment rs is equal to 105. And that's it. Anyways, hopefully this helps you understand altitudes a little bit more, and have a good day. Bye-bye.